Yo guys, what is going on? Match day vlog time once again in the background there, so we're gonna have to move. Currently watching Manchester United versus Reading. But like I say, tough game today, people United come to the Riverside Stadium. I've been to that stadium three times already. Will I have to go there again to get a replay? Maybe so. Let's get to Riverside Stadium and let's see what happens. Come on the boys. We're live at the Riverside Stadium, as you can see it behind me. And in the distance here, boom, we have like, what, four buses of Peterborough fans, but one of them is a double decker. We've heard they've actually brought 1,400 uh, fans to the Riverside Stadium. It's absolutely tremendous support. It's the FA Cup, it's the third round. But the only thing I've got is I've turned up and there's no real buzz around the area. No one's really excited for this game, but like I say, I take my hat off to every single Peter Butterfly that's travelled. It's a long way, well, well to be fair, yeah. I, you know, I, I mean, I will go with that. It's pretty far to come to Middlesbrough from Peterborough. Like I said, I've done it three times myself. Like I said, I take my hat off to their fans. Hopefully they enjoy their day out, uh, obviously inside of Middlesbrough. Hopefully they enjoy the Riverside Stadium. And I know a lot of away fans that come to the Riverside Stadium often say how nice it is and whatnot. So hopefully they enjoy it. But like I say, we're about two hours away from kickoff. Maybe it's just a little bit short of that. As soon as the team's out, I will give you the information. In my preview, actually, I forgot to say that Van La Parra will probably play in this game. Obviously, we know Ayala can't play, Shotton's injured still, Flintstone's hamstring. We probably won't see any of the first sort of team players like House and Savile. I doubt they'll play, I doubt Clayton will get a look in. But other than that, you know what I mean? We've got to, you know what I mean? We've got to keep positive. Just something's telling me they might get a replay, you know? Something's telling me. I'm saying 1 1 or 2 1. I don't know which one yet. I've been saying 2 1 all week. But I'm here, just something saying to me, just just, just keep it, you know what I mean? I'll stick with 2-1, but something's telling me it could be a replay as well. Hopefully it isn't, because midweek doesn't suit me fairly well with work. But like I say, as soon as the team's out, I'll let you know it. So the team is being announced, and yeah, <clears throat> Tony Pulis, I won't whatever you're on, because he's actually started to play three strikers today. Fletcher, Sombolonga, Gusted, all start. Tavernier starts. Van La Parra starts, Ledbitter, McNair, uh, Friend, Fry, Ayala and Dimmy. And I don't think I've forgotten anyone in that lineup, but yeah, let me go through it again. <laughs> Dimmy goes in goal, We've got Fry, Ayala, Friend, McNair, Ledbitter, Van La Parra, Tavernier, Fletcher, Sombolonga, Rudy Gestead. Um, strong team, really. I didn't think we were going to see the likes of uh, obviously Sombolonga play. Ayala, we got told, was injured. Could that have been possible mind games or was it like a late fitness test? Whatever it is, he's passing, he's playing. Uh, George Friend, yeah, I kind of thought he'd be in because at the minute we don't really have a left. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, well, let's be real. Apart from George Friend, which other left back do we have that we could put in and we actually trust to do a job? Um, but yeah, overall, happy with the team. Uh, very, very, very the team. Very, very strong. Really good stead. One of them. It's sort of going to Ipswich Town. Will he go there? Will he not? Are we playing him to get him fit to go there? Along with uh, Ledbitter. We don't know these things. One thing I do know, it's absolutely freezing in Middlesbrough. The weather is not very pleasant. There's not a lot of people attending this game. I'm looking down now around me. Um, there's hardly anyone here. I mean, just look at that. It's a bit of a shame. But like I say, uh, Peter Butter fans have travelled in numbers. I've seen loads of them so far. There must be about 1,500 here. So shout out to every single one of them. But yeah, I'll try and get some other fan reactions on. Uh, so we get some predictions and uh, yeah, see what happens. Come on, the boys. Hello, you, sir. Hello, hello, hello. Still wearing your uh, cap? SPKD, yes, Sambalonga. Oh, to stand for? Uh, stop. People. People killing dreams. Boom, there you go, you got it. You go. And uh, me. Yeah. another long trip for the third round. Absolutely. We've seen the team. Pugh's definitely smoking something positive because he put three strikers in. Absolutely. Three strikers, two wingers, so it looks really positive. And in terms of a score prediction, mate, go ahead. I think it's going to be 3 1. I think we're going to yeah. go 1 0 down early on. Do you think? Because I think the team's all over the place, okay. but I think they're, they're going to pick up. We're going to probably see some Blonga get a goal, Fletcher get a goal, mm -hmm. and hopefully Steve Walker off the bench to get a goal, you know. Not bad, but like I said, it's positive, isn't it? Absolutely. In terms yeah. of the attendance, we haven't seen many people, have we really? We've seen more, maybe Street Border fans in the last half an hour. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll be very surprised if it's more than 10k. Oh, well, enjoy the yeah. game. I shall do yeah. the bar. So I planned on vlogging uh, at the end of the sort of vlog as soon as I left the Riverside. Do that my phone died and I had no idea until I got home and checked my phone and seen why well, it's actually dead. So yeah, 
But at five, Peter Butter United nil. Um, don't know what to say really. Five goals in the second half. First half, to be fair, Peter Butter give it a go, and they were fairly unlucky at times. You know, they had chances where at times I was thinking, oh my days, how close that was. Shout out to the Peter Butter fans as well. Do you know what I mean? From a League One team, bringing 15, 1,600 up here. Um, terrific noise as well. Obviously, in the corner of the uh, East Stand. Absolutely fantastic noise from them. Still travel along to all the Peter Butter fans. Well, this is the Butter. Listen, second half we came to life. First half, we weren't so good. Um, as I always said, you know, Peter Butter had the majority of the chances. Yeah, George Friend went close in the first half. And obviously, he just got saved. I wouldn't say he could have done any better because he couldn't have done, you know what I mean? Got saved. But then, of course, you know what I mean? Second half, he came to life. Produced a little bit. Produced a little bit here and there. And then eventually got the first goal. The second goal. And the absolute screamer from Lewis Wing from the edge of the box. Or should I say, even 25 yards out. But it's on Belonga, got two against the former team. George Friend got one as well, and so did Fletcher. Fantastic day at the office of the Butter. We win 5 0. We're in the fourth round now. It's fantastic. Like I say, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the vlog. And I will catch you guys again tomorrow for the review of Butter versus Peter Butter. And at least for once, I'll be smiling because we scored five. Up the Butter.